Microsoft Power BI is a popular tool for data analysis. I am glad that you have decided to learn Power BI. If you plan to get certified, that will be a great step forward. Hi, this is Raja and I shall be glad to accompany you in your journey to explore Power BI. If you are a little worried about the exam structure, we can have a simple look into that. There will be two types of questions. One of them is knowledge based, the other one is based on a case study. Approximately 50 to 60 questions will be there and the time limit will be around 150 minutes including your exam preparation time and the minimum passing score is 70%. Certification validity is for one year, it was previously two years. When we speak about knowledge based questions, you will be tested for knowledge on the following areas. Do you know a process, the steps, the sequence? Do you know about modeling? Do you know about writing formulas using functions from M code on the DAX? And do you know about the analysis tools that are available in visualization parts? You need to answer to multiple choice questions and the multi responses. When I say multi responses, there could be around five options for a questions. You may be required to select more than one option that will give a complete solution for the question. That is called the multi response fill in the blank type of questions will be there, drag and a drop type of questions will be there. So this is a simple example for a multiple choice question. You need to select only one out of the four. And this is about using a drag and a drop option in which you can see a question, possible actions out of four, you may be required to select three and most importantly, in the correct sequence. After dragging the answer parts to the answer area, you can adjust them using the slider buttons. So that uh, what will be the first step, what will be the second step and so on. You will also have a drop down kind of a question over there in which a part of the formula will be given and you will be required to click on the button to see the options and then select uh, the correct uh, parameter. Case studies are interesting and each case study will be divided into few parts, something like uh, introduction and instructions to start, overview, the existing environment, reporting requirements and so on and you need to answer multiple choice questions based on the above. There is no shortcut to pass the examination. Learn by doing, use Power BI every day. Study from all available resources. Check Microsoft Learn first and while you are appearing for the examination, skip questions if you struggle to answer and then revisit them later except for case study where no review or revisit is possible. Remember the rules of the examination and don't fail on a technical issue. So you can use any browser to reach this website and you can also check my YouTube channel for updates on PL300 where we are going to provide many useful videos that can help you to prepare for PL300 examination. See you all soon in the PL300 club. If you want to see the exam pattern in action, you need to move to a particular website which I have opened in my browser. We are now looking for information about a PL300 examination. You can scroll down, you will be able to see the skills measured and what are the chapters you need to read, do your practice and be prepared for the examination. And more importantly, make a note of the percentage of questions in each category and prepare according to that. To get a feel on the examination, you can click on the exam sandbox that will give you a simulation of the real examination. This is a great help indeed from Microsoft for all the PL300 aspirants. So you need to read them over there. You have to accept the terms, click yes, kind of simulation that you will be seeing in your real examination. Time available will be different in a real examination. The number of questions will be different in the real examination. This is nothing but a simulation provided by Microsoft for your benefit. So you can see on the right hand side top corner, the clock ticking. And here comes your first question. Please make a note that there is a possibility to tick an option called review later. If you are not able to get the correct answer. Alternatively, even after marking the correct answer, you choose to click on this so that if time permits, you can come back and check this. For example, I'm just going to tick an answer here and then I check this box also. Okay, this way, I don't miss this question. 
if i know the answer and in case if i have an iota of doubt i will be reminded to come back here and to verify my answer while i complete the examination i can now move to the next one i need to choose two answers for this check the boxes random i don't intend to pass this exam i intend to pass the real exam so they, this again is called a, the drag and drop as i showed you in my presentation so you have movable source objects that you move from the left side of the question to the answer area on the right side this question type is known as build list reorder which five tasks should you do in the correct order to create a ham sandwich i know how to eat a sandwich unfortunately i don't know how to cook that so let me quickly choose five answers and if you want to change the sequence say for example this should be the last step i can use the scroll buttons here okay make a note of this kind of uh, questions moving to the next one this question type is called active screen you will be required to look at the screen and then uh, provide your answer this is called uh, using a drop down menu you need to read a scenario and then uh, choose the answer from the drop down as you might have seen in the previous slides that i had shown you so this question type is called the heart area and this is your case study wherein you will be able to see the existing environment you will be able to look at the requirements and so on you read the question and assuming that for this question you need to have an idea about the business goals you can click on that and then click on the question on the top so that you can come back to the question you can choose your answer click next some question types may include an exhibit if so you need to click on that you need to have a look into the image get an idea and then come back and choose the correct answer for that multiple exhibit questions are also possible you may have to check at all the images before taking a decision on choosing the right answer i'm just going to hit random since this is a demo so at the end of this i'm able to see that i have answered for seven of them have not answered three questions out of the seven answered questions i have marked one for review all of you could remember that so i can click on this particular one and then i can again click here i'm going back okay this answer looks to be correct for me i may uncheck this review is done three questions were not yet answered by me i have enough time and then i can go there and check one by one in case if i complete all of them i can hit on finish clicking yes will end this section of the exam and you will not be able to change what you entered in this section say yes so you have successfully completed the examination you can provide your feedback on the examination questions if you are interested or you can simply click the exit button and one more final confirmation is needed when you click yes your scores will be published i told you that i am just taking it for demonstration purpose i have not passed this examination i am not worried about that so you will be able to see on which segment of the exam questions what was your score from 0 to 100% wish you all the best thank you for watching this video